following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're going to be testing a new line from Yamaha, the 195 series. It includes this SX model and the AR model with a wakeboard tower. Now, the design team at Yamaha tell me that they made this for the more aggressive driver. Let's take a look. There's a lot of attention to detail, starting with the 4-inch pull-up cleats. We're happy to see the dedicated storage for the anchor instead of taking up valuable space under the side seats. Back in the cockpit and under the port side seat cushion, we have the battery and battery switch. But the real story is in the engine compartment where we have an 1812cc Yamaha 4-stroke four 4-cylinder four supercharged and intercooled 16-valve Super Vortex high output engine. Now, this is the first time that this engine has ever been paired to a Yamaha boat. It's the same engine that's been winning world championships on the Wave Runner side. This installation left plenty of room for daily checks and maintenance, plus with the soundproofing the noise levels were kept to a level where we could still talk among ourselves while at cruise speed. Now as for that 160mm jet pump, occasionally the jets can get clogged, but where others make you go out for a swim to clear them, Yamaha created this convenient clean-out port. Open the stern hatch and a kill switch shuts down the engine, then reach in, turn the plug, and you have access to the impeller to clean out the bag some thoughtless boater tossed in the lake. To replace, just insert and give a quarter turn. It just doesn't get easier than this. The helm consists of two gauges, one with a selectable display that shows gallons per hour, miles per gallon, gallons used since last fill, water depth, water temp, and battery volts. These gauges create a clean, uncluttered dash panel that also looks good. All dark colors and a matte finish eliminate glare, and a visor over the gauges also helps with that. The steering wheel is a premium upgrade for this model year, and rocker switches to both sides are lit when activated. The most significant being to the far right, this is the cruise assist and no wake rocker. Just set a cruise speed and then incrementally increase or decrease with just a push of the button. At no wake speed, just move the throttle lever to the forward detent and the button will do the rest. The walkthrough windshield is black anodized, providing a nice contrast to the top sides. We also notice no distortion to the curves. Now let's get on the water and see how she performed. The Yamaha 195 series has a length overall of 19 feet, a beam of 8 feet, and a draft of only 13 inches. With an empty weight of 2,238 pounds, full fuel, and two people, we estimated our test weight at 2,838 pounds. With the single 1812cc SVHO engine turning a stainless steel three-bladed impeller in a 160mm jet pump, we reached a top speed of 52.3 miles per hour at 7,500 RPM. At that speed, we could keep going for 69 miles, but pulling back to 5,000 RPM produced the best economic cruise speed of 24.4 miles per hour. At that speed, the fuel burn of 6.7 gallons per hour allowed us to keep running for 98 statute miles while still keeping 10% of the 195's 30-gallon fuel capacity held in reserve. She's a quick boat to handle, reaching 30 miles per hour in just under 6 seconds, and she does so with practically no bow rise. Probably the biggest improvement in handling comes from the addition of the articulating keel that allows for zero thrust steering along with straight line tracking during acceleration and quicker response when turning. With the turn held on, she'll spin out as expected. We had a calm day on the lake, so we can't talk about how she handles choppy conditions, but crossing the wake of the camera boat showed the 195 transitions over the wakes with no hull slap and minimal spray kept low. All in all, an exciting ride. So speed, aggressive styling, great handling, and looks, it all seems to come together in the 195 series from Yamaha. And that's my full sea trial. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.